Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh, my name is Ogome Bunameze Halike, a new Nigerian YouTuber based in Abuja, SCT, Nigeria. Thank you for always coming back to come and watch me. If you are a returning subscriber, that looks so. And if you are a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. You won't regret it here. So today I'll be showing you how to make a DJ love. I did it a lot of those things that um, some of us even um, traded our school bag and our school uniform just for us to get money to buy a did it a lot for people a did it. So let's get into the process immediately. These are the things you need for your a did it a lot. This is moi moi leaf, and this is stew, and this is corn flour, and this is um, the opopo a did it. The main opopo a did it in the um, recipe. So now. The trick about this um, corn flour is that I bought my corn, I grinded it, after grinding it, I sieved it like how they do pap, and I took it to the sun for two days, and it dried off. After it finished drying, I still grinded it, and it became this powdered form. Now, you can use this to thicken your soup. This is the corn flour that they used to sell to us. You can do your own corn flour, but I'll be doing a video on how to make this corn flour. Today we are talking about Agidi Jello, so we will be getting right into the process immediately. So firstly, I will be adding this uh, corn flour to a pot. You just be doing this like how you do pap. That is how you do this. Please stir. You mix gradually. Pour water bit by bit, please. Exactly the way like how you do your pack. So this consistency is okay for me. So you can just add a little bit of water. This is okay. You turn. Now we'll be boiling water to make this. So I'll be boiling water right now and I'll be adding it here. So, so I'll be adding our hot water right now. Actually supposed to be thicker than this. So I will be, I will be setting this on the heat now for it to still boil. Mix very well. Remember not to add your bone in your agidi. Hmm. 
So if you still need more stew, you can still add. Which is what I did. So at this junction, our gibi jello is ready. So now it's time to wrap. So this is our leaf. So this is our leaf. Remember, you fold. So I'll be scooping in. Oh no. Oh, full. And I'll put the the obuguagidi inside. Add the mitsu to cover. Obuguagidi jello for a dandy. Hey, your brain will reset small. Oh my god. So I'll be using two leaves now. I will fold them. Then a little bit of this, and I will fold. So I'll be doing the rest of the wraps, and I will show you when I'm done. So this is the agidi jellof. I actually did um, three cups of corn flour, and I'm getting this. I want aqua moon. But in all that, I'll be allowing this to cool before I can show you the after result. I actually got um, in the plate, I actually put some here. So I'll be covering it to cool too. And I'll be showing you the after result. This is our Agidi gel off, all cooled off. Uh, So look at it. Man, are they before okay? They are giving the love. Ah, okay. Hmm. But for the sake of the glam, let's use. So. So here is our giddy. <laughs> So this is a close shot of our uh, agidi jello once again because i'm eating another round so hey guys so i hope you enjoyed my video of um, making agidi jellof actually i don't know how do i um, kind of like differentiate a bone that will be very soft after cooking because there was a day i bought a bone i kept cooking i kept cooking that bone did not do but i just had to use it like that to do the agidi jellof so how do i no, when the market people are cheating me because they will tell you that eh, that all of them is very soft but actually this one that i used is actually soft it tried so give me a thumbs up if you like this video and um remember to subscribe to my youtube channel like comment share my video please and then i will see you in my next video bye and um stay safe wash your hands and wear your masks regularly okay okay bye